Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we finally get the chance to take a look at April's patch notes. They came about a few hours before the actual maintenance started. We're going to talk about all the drama that happened with these patch notes at, towards the end of the video because I also want to share my opinion on that. I was also a little bit frustrated. Um, but until then, let's take a look at what's coming up. Obviously the Glavier that you know, the new class, we talked about it a couple of videos ago. I told you how you need to, how, how you can get ready to, let's say, boost up a Glavier uh, a past a tier 2. I'm going to link that video, by the way, in the description below. A new continent, South Vern, at this time it only comes with the story and also the weekly dungeon uh, the chaos dungeons that are related to South Vern, the field boss and also the chaos gate in South Vern will be available uh, at a later time they said again we're going to discuss this and my opinion on this at towards the end of the video uh, I will have a I will have the video uh, you know segmented so you can guys chaptered so you can see uh, so you can skip to wherever you, you find it interesting um, then we have some interesting uh, progression events also in April the fate on power pass is something very similar to the Vern power pass that we received in the past. It's basically an item, you take it and you can boost your character um, from the character selection screen, assuming one of your characters on that particular server has actually finished the Phaeton story, um, the last bit of it, which is uh, called Will. If you've done that, you can use this Phaeton power pass to boost up another class, um, even all the way from the beginning, like, you know, level 10 after you've selected your class. Um, to boost it up to item level 960 and in Phaeton. So let's say towards the end of tier 2, at the part where you start actually failing after plus 8, uh, right, um, in, in uh, tier 2. This Phaeton power pass, by the way, you get it in your mail. So when you do log in, if you finish the Phaeton story, check your mail, it's going to be there. You take the item in your bag, then you use the item from your bag, and then when upon going to character selection screen, um, you will be able to power pass a character to um, by using this this item this power pass will expire on the 30th of june so you don't necessarily have to use it now you can keep it for a future class release like for example the destroyer which is planned in may and until the 30th of june i'm pretty sure there's going to be another class that comes out in june with june's update or at least it should i I hope that they're going to do uh, at least a class every month. The Super Express event is gigantic, not only for the honing materials it gives you as you progress through stages uh, with your character, but also for the final reward, that box. I've never seen in my life so many shiny goodies all together in one box before. Um, it's really, really cool. Um, granted, not a gigantic amount of honing materials in that last box, but there are some. Um, uh, on the other hand, there's a lot of other cool stuff that you need in Lost Ark, even if you think about efficiency there's a little bit of gold there's quite a lot of silver there is um, uh, rapport items which can help you with skill points for example uh, there's card packs there's engraving books and also the stronghold tokens very very nice in general very nice stronghold tokens which you can exchange for sailors that you that help you do more damage on the ghost ship you know what i'm saying a, a lot of really cool rewards in general in that box they did mess it up though because on their official website it says this new event will allow players to select one of their characters at combat level 50 that's under item Item level a thousand to do the express missions this is not true in game you can select any character even a tier 3 character to take part in this event which would be a mistake by the way do not select a tier 3 character uh, to do the missions for this because the rewards you get the honing materials are bound so you should select a character that's at the just at level 50 in tier 1 or in tier 2 to do this uh, even your boosted character with the fate on power pass um, gets nice value out of being part um, out of being the character selected for this express mission simply because there's quite some tier 2 honing materials that will help your 960 freshly boosted to phaeton character um, you know have an easier time progressing through the last steps of tier 2 we have a store update also and people were in tears on the forums when they saw that this is the skin we're getting in april people want something nicer people want a cool skin once in a while, something cute at least, right? It doesn't have to be the bikini. Maybe it's not time. Maybe that comes in all, in summer, right? But something cute, something nice, something different than what we're kind of getting. We started off with the Northern Lawmaker, which let's face it, it's not the most gorgeous skin in Lost Ark. Thank God we had the Platinum Founders Pack skin, which is absolutely probably the second best skin in this game since its release. Um, however, since then we um, uh, we got the Alliar skin in the shop and then the Omen, which is something for very specific tastes. And now we're getting this, which is again um, not, not something that people are very happy about. I completely agree with once in a while, once in between a, a, a patch getting 
a skin that's really cute and that because you know you absolutely know what is a cute skin or a gorgeous skin or a badass skin and what is not. Uh, so it's clear to everyone to see. I know that some people like this. I know that some people love the omen, the horse or whatever. That's cool to have, right? But once in a while, give one of those, you know, popular skins that, you know, Lost Ark is all advertised. Korean players are full, you know, full on wearing it and, and stuff. It would be really nice. I completely support this. The Ark Pass is also coming today. Another very hot topic on the forums i was for this since i first saw it last year in korea when they released it um i think this is mega value for the money you pay i don't think that we should keep having stuff to pay real money for um on, on top of other things that are currently there however if you ever wanted to pay 15 dollars in lost ark for something or 30 dollars for something this is the thing that you want to pay 15 dollars for not anything else and please remember this is not 15 dollars a month this is 15 dollars for the whole duration of the event you pay it once and you have three months time to complete this event generally speaking an arc pass comes um, uh, to lost arc it's sort of an event that comes three times a year because you have three months time with it active and then another month in between one arc pass event and the other so uh, four months times three that's 12 months three times a year you have this and this is not per month, this is per event, right? So $15 per event and you get both the basic track and the advanced, uh, the premium track as they call it. If you want to spend $30 one time, right? Um, then you get all the three tracks available. The last track, the super premium, contains cosmetic items and by cosmetic items, I mean this. Lastly, I did want to congratulate them for the 25 day login reward track. I think these are nice rewards. I think they're good to for people to catch up i think they have plenty of gear honing materials so it's really nice and on top of that there's other stuff like rapport items and uh, extra chaos dungeon entries and a little bit of silver so it's a good 25 day login uh, reward track and lastly as a footnote which i think is a good segue for the second part of the video where we're going to talk about the drama surrounding uh, these patch notes and amazon games communication in general a few um, other minor store updates will take place in April. Some item quantities have been adjusted in Mari's secret shop. By how much? Which items? Am I getting more? Am I getting less? Again, being open, being transparent, proper communication. I want to know numbers, not words. I'm interested in why also, why were these changes needed? What is this based on? To be fair, I'm generally an easygoing person, generally happy, thankful for the things I have, we have. Life is full of pluses and minuses, right? So it's important to see uh, both sides of the spectrum always. However, recently, um, these things that keep happening to, to the Western version of Lost Ark in terms of I know how it's handled, they're starting to get to me a little bit. Yesterday I was up until 5 a.m. so I can catch the patch notes announcement because they, Amazon works on US time schedule and as a content creator from Europe like myself, it's really difficult to catch them unless you stay up all night or you wake up at five in the morning because that's the time when they always post things, either news or patch notes or whatever, stuff that's important. I wanna cover it, right? Now, that's not the problem. The problem is that after they released the initial article, right, they actually said um, that we're sorry, there's not going to be any patch because of some critical errors found. As you can imagine, the forums exploded. So I was I rushed into creating a video based on the information that we have. And as you're recording, right, you don't always F5 the website or their Twitter to see if they made a mistake with that official post or they didn't, uh, right? So it turns out that that was a mistake and it turns out that they managed somehow to fix these unknown critical errors which by the way for me is already a problem in just telling us there's a critical error what kind of error could there possibly be so critical that we need to delay this patch that was already delayed um, from a week ago so you know more explanation they said they're committed to being to being open straightforward is this such a bad thing or such a shameful thing Thing that they couldn't actually have released it to the public because I can completely get behind that. If it's too shameful, if you really messed up something internally and it, it would do more harm to the game and the company, then it is what it is. But you know, what about being open? What about not making these mistakes initially? Uh, anyway, so after that, they changed the statement. Okay, we're getting the patch, we're getting the Glavier, and we're also getting South Vern with the Chaos Gate, right, and the Field Boss. Now, that was very interesting news in that sense. So, you know, 
after I recorded the video and started to edit it, by mistake I refreshed the page and that was already, you know, sort of fixed by that time. So I started recording again another video based on, you know, the fact that we are getting the patch, right? It's already like, I don't know, 7 a.m. Now this information was also changed a little bit later. Needless to say, I was in the process of recording, so I didn't see it right away when they changed it. Um, and it completely turned the, the patch upside down in terms of what you should be talking when you inform people uh, about the content because we don't have then any artifact grade things coming with today's patch so that is a big deal in the dynamic of the game and how it's going to play out what are the things that you should look for etc now I, I, at that point I was just like you know screw it I'm not going to stay up another two hours so I can make another video so that maybe they can change their mind once more I would really really appreciate it um, if, if, if these kinds of things would actually stop happening, that would be really awesome. These things have been happening since before release. And in my mind, I always thought that maybe we're new, maybe we're still learning the ropes, you know, publishing a game from overseas, communication in between US, Korea, you know, Amazon, Smilegate, maybe they have, you know, you know they're still new at releasing the game in this particular form. So feedback and changes are bound to happen. That's perfectly fine. All good. Uh, however, we, we really need to solve the, you know, a very simple problem, which is communication and knowledge, knowing what we're going to do and why. Not these changes, these upside downs, these, these things just add more more fuel to an already existing fire for absolutely no reason and you know slowly by slowly they 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 they're even getting to my head a little bit um uh, to a point where I'm starting to feel sort of disappointed in myself that I that I cannot really stay up from 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. Uh, just just so I can catch the full scope of a new patch or an update or some piece of news that maybe it's gonna be changed a couple of hours later. So I need to, you know, and and, and I don't know. It, it just bothers me a little bit, and I really would hope that we would at at one point very very soon um, stop seeing this behavior and actually start, you know owning this release, owning our own game, being the, the cool boss in charge of this is what we want to do, this is what we're going to do, and it's a good thing also, it's not a thing that's questionable or something that, the you know, the, the, most people would just be like, what just happened? So, you know, own it, Amazon and Smilegate, just take it by the ropes uh, and, and just go with it and, you know, do good stuff at the right time. Um, uh, without any mistakes. And that was everything from me today. I do apologize for the rant at the end of the video. However, I think it's a good idea for you guys to see that I also have um, a negative thoughts or negative feelings sometimes. Um, until my next video, I wish you lots of love. Thank you so much for watching and see you really soon.